Hello, this is the beginning of a series of talks about an integrative approach using the functional medicine paradigm to better understand and treat depression. Our brain is the most complex and mysterious organ in our body. It gives rise to our consciousness, our thoughts, our feelings, and our dreams. When our brains aren't working properly, we call it depression, anxiety, insomnia, irritability, ADD, and various other labels. Our mood is affected by many things, including stress, both physical and emotional, sleep, light, physical activity, diet, and genetics. I often tell people that depression is not a Prozac deficiency, but rather depression is a result of a brain that is not optimally functioning because of a combination of these factors. Today I would like to start by talking to you about some of the key amino acids that are involved in the synthesis of the following neurotransmitters, serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. These important neurotransmitters play critical roles in our mood and our brain function. Serotonin is an inhibitory neurotransmitter and plays an important role in mood, sleep, and appetite. Low brain serotonin levels are associated with anxiety, depression, migraine headaches, sleep disturbances, and obsessive compulsive behavior. Norepinephrine is an excitatory neurotransmitter related to energy, focus, attention, and memory. Low levels are associated with poor energy, diminished focus, and lack of motivation. Dopamine is also an excitatory neurotransmitter and is associated with attention, motivation, pleasure, and reward. Lack of dopamine can be associated with addictions and cravings in an attempt to stimulate the pleasure circuits in the brain. Metrometrics Laboratory offers a fasting plasma amino acid profile that allows us to see if the body has the necessary building blocks for healthy brain function. Tryptophan is an essential aromatic amino acid and is the precursor to serotonin. Its level in plasma acts as an indirect marker of brain serotonin levels. High levels can indicate a greater need for niacin or vitamin B6. Low levels can indicate a greater need for more L-tryptophan in the diet or supplementation with 5-hydroxytryptophan. Phenylalanine is used to produce tyrosine, which can go down three synthetic pathways in the thyroid gland to thyroid hormone, in the skin to melanin, and in the adrenal medulla in the brain to dopamine, then norepinephrine, and finally epinephrine, utilized in cofactors such as tetrahydrobiopterin, iron, and copper. Recall that PKU, or phenylketonuria, which is an inborn error of metabolism that has a broad spectrum of phenotypes, results in elevations of phenylalanine in both blood and tissue. About 500 different mutations of the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase have been described, whereby the activity of the enzyme is decreased. In some of these cases, tetrahydrobiopterin can be used to drive the reaction and lower toxic phenylalanine levels. This brief overview shows us how to use functional medicine testing to see what's going on in the body on both the nutritional and biochemical level to get to the root causes of the patient's problems. In the next podcast, I'll discuss the important role that essential fatty acids play in both mood and cognitive function. Thank you for joining me today.